I want to talk to you about my old style maker. Now, the way it used to work when I was living on the east coast of England is that if I wanted new sails, I would contact Alan and Alan would come down on his bike or his van and a pet with a pencil and a tape measure and we'd sit and have tea and we'd eat biscuits and we'd talk about sails and he'd design a sail for me. And then he'd go away and then a, a, a certain time later, and this time could be anything from eight weeks to 12 weeks, a sail would turn up. Normally after a few phone calls saying, where's my sail, you know, and then a couple of weeks after that, he'd say, oh, can you pay me? And I'd pay him. And that's the way it used to be done. So when we left the UK, we had to look to an alternate way of getting sales made for us. And we looked to the internet. Now, there are huge numbers of providers on the internet. There's the big sale lofts that charge a lot of money for their sales. And then, then there are smaller sale lofts that charge substantially less for their sales. But... In many cases, the material is the same. It's, you know, branded material. So we're looking to, well, what are the problems here? Why are these sales so cheap? Is the designer not up to much? You know, are we gonna have problems with the language barrier? Are we gonna end up getting something that doesn't fit the boat? So I'm a little bit skeptical. We were a little bit skeptical. And if you saw our last video, we looked and we did sale measurements for our new set of sales. And this is the process of getting those sales to us. Did it work? Are we going to get sales that didn't fit? Are we going to get a good designer? Are we going to get a good quality sale at the end of it? Watch on, see what you think. The next stage in the process for us was a design consultation with the sailmaker while we were in Australia, 10,000 miles away from our boat. Weird. Yeah. I just want to make sure it's still for length. Okay. Well, all I did talk to your previous, your, what's his name, Andreas? Something wears out, like it's that webbing loop that's wearing out at all. It's on the head sail. Yep. Just to match, just to match but you know, with the head sail, I don't want to add, have it too stiff at the tack in the head because the aspect ratio. Yeah. And with this internet conversation all wrapped up, the sailmaker gets on with making the sails, we head back to the boat to start our season. Then a few weeks later, we get notification that the sails are being made. They're shipped from China all the way to the sail loft in Canada to be inspected, then DHL to us in Spain. My worry here was that the sails would get delayed, lost or held up somewhere. However, all in all, from door to door was a week. We got notifications at every step of the way. Excellent news. So, um, looks like our sales have finally arrived. I just got a message from DHL. So, we have about 5,000 kilos of, um, of sail cloth to drag back to the boat, which is about 400 meters, and there's only one way I can do this, which is using the magic of this. So, let me just... Uh, Get my magical electric skateboard. It's not magical, it's just electric. Yeah. It's magic. <laughs> magical witchcraft. All right, ladies. It's just technology. <laughs> One is off. I'm going to get a zip up there quickly because it okay. closes in 15 minutes and then I can drag, hopefully, drag all this back. All right, off I go. All right. I'll follow you up in a second. All right. Just got some very exciting news, which is that our sales apparently have just arrived and we just got an email from the marina office saying that we have two parcels that are there waiting for us to be picked up. Assuming that they're the sales, we have nothing else arriving, I don't think. So uh, the office is closing in literally five minutes, so Nick's rushed up there before they close for the afternoon. And I'm going to follow him up and hopefully we'll be getting back on the boat with our new sails. Very, very exciting. I'm excited. We don't have a reason. To pretend I surrender to another season. I don't need a reason. I tell you what, that booster board is worth the money just for transport purposes really. <laughs> This is the first new set of cells that I've ever had. Thanks, Miguel. <laughs> it's 
like the boat's birthday. I'm a little bit excited about this. So, our new sails have arrived. Sorry, there's a Spanish celebration. It sounds like gun shots going off. It's just fireworks. Um, it's just the Spanish. Just the Spanish. So our new sails have arrived yes. after, realistically speaking, there was they, they, were, they were stopped in customs for a couple of days, but that's just European customs. But really, from door to door, one week, I'm pretty impressed with that. Yeah. So they went Canada, Canada to, I think they went Canada to Ohio. They went from Ohio to Germany, Germany to Madrid, Madrid to Valencia in a week. They've done more than we have. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, our new sales, these, I'm we're super excited because cup one, new sales make boat go faster. Number two, they are really good quality sales. Number three, um, new stuff. Yeah, boxes. So scissors, carefully open boxes. Yes, get let's stuff not out. cut through our brand new sales. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Email them and say, listen, there's a small problem with those sales. We accidentally cut hold them. <laughs> so let's do some unboxing, eh? Let's What are you doing? Sniffing them. Huh? Oh, that. Now that is a sexy sound. That's a beautiful looking sail, even from this position. Oh. <laughs> and they matched the uh, the sacrificial strip. Oh, the colour. To our to our existing canvas. Which is pretty nice though actually. That's the easy part done, and now we have to do the main. My concerns for the mainsail were whether it would be compatible with our current Selden batten cast system. We were moving from partial battens to full battens, and although the sail design included webbing loops which should have been compatible with our system, there was a question as to whether or not they'd have to be modified and sewn onto the cars. As it was, they all fitted super simply, and we had all nine cars fitted in under 20 minutes. That's the process of getting sales. All I would say is that it was remarkably simple. We have absolutely no problems. Those sales turned up nine days from door to door and information at every single step. I think we had 26 updates from DHL telling us at every stage where they were. In addition to this, something that I struggled with when I owned a business was not understanding where the product was and not having a contact. In this case, we actually had a woman from DHL in Spain contact us and say, look, your sales are in customs. They will be held up for 48 hours for checks and then they will be released. 
and she replied to the emails. So the first problem I had, the first question I had was, are these sales going to get to us? Yes, they did. Secondly, what is, is the design going to live up to the consultation? Yes, it did. They fitted perfectly. Thirdly, are they as well made as other sales? Well, yes, it's Contender CDX. It's a brand material. You can go to any major sale loft anywhere and get the same material. I can check the stitching. I've checked these sales backwards. They're absolutely perfect. They are. They have included every single design feature that I wanted. Foam luff inserts. I wanted a special clue board. I wanted spectral leech lines. I wanted camber stripes so that I could actually observe the change in camber of the sale. All these things were included. And I think I paid less than half the price of going to a major sale loft. So all in all, this was a success. So thank you to Ron at Precision Sales. Thank you to Daryl at Precision Sales. And thank you to the designer, Andreas, who contacted me throughout the process to get all this consultation done. In addition to that, because they're a fairly cool sale loft and we have thanked them for doing this for us, if you check down below, there is a discount code for anyone that wants to buy sales through them as well at the moment, just specifically related to us. Hope you like this. Obviously, we will test these sales through the season and we're going to do a couple of tutorials on sale trim. So I hope you follow those. Aside from that, we'll be back next week with another blog. Feel free to subscribe and we'll continue our season. So goodbye. <laughs>